this video is for number three. Number three, we are graphing a rational function. A um, couple of things that we need to do. We need to make sure we graph all the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my notepad so that I can do some work to find all these asymptotes, okay? Um, I'll just get a blank sheet of paper out. Give me one second. Okay, so if you take a look, we have um, 7x minus 1 over 2x minus 5. Let's find the vertical asymptote first. So the vertical asymptote happens when the bottom of the fraction is 0. So I'm going to say 2x minus 5 equals 0, and we're going to solve for x. 2x equals positive 5, divide by 2, x is equal to 5 over 2. Let's go ahead and graph this using a vertical dotted line. So dotted line, I'm going to go ahead and go 2 to the right, because what, 5 over 2 is 2.5, right? Oh no, I may need some help. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I do want to plot 5 over 2, and then any, really any value. Zero. I'm going to go ahead and plot that, and I will go ahead and draw a dotted line right there. And that's perfect. Um, so I just used this tool. I did 5 over 2 for the x value, and then it doesn't matter which y value, because any points on this vertical line um, um, will have an x-coordinate of 5 over 2. So if I do 5 over 2 and 1, as you can see, this blue dot is on this vertical line. So that's how you can plot the vertical asymptote. Let's do the horizontal asymptote. Uh, we look at it by cases, right? We did it by cases in pre-calculus class. Um, and as you can see, the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator, they're both x to the first power, right? When the degrees are the same, we just take the ratio of the leading coefficient. So the horizontal asymptote is at 7 over 2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plot 7 over 2. 7 over 2 for the y value, and x can be anything. I'm just going to do 0. And I just need a dotted line, horizontal dotted line over there. Okay, that is good. That is good. All I need to do is plot two points on each side. Okay, so let's plot two points on each side of the vertical asymptote 5 over 2. So I need to do some scratch work over here. So I'm getting my xy table. Okay, xy table. Couple x values that I can put, pick are, whoopsies, some values that are smaller than 5 over 2. So what are, what are some numbers that are smaller than 5 over 2? I can pick um, 1 and 2, um, or 0 and 1. I'll go with 0 and 1. Anything smaller than 5 over 2, 0 and 1. If I plug in 0 into the function, I'll get 7 times 0 minus 1 over 2 times 0 minus 5. That is negative 1 over 5. Whoopsies, both are negative, sorry. So which turns into positive 1 fifth. So let me plot a point at 0, 1 fifth. Next point. If I plug in 1 into the function, I get this, which is 7 minus 1 over 2 minus 5, and that is 6 over negative 3, which is negative 2. So let's plot a point at 1, negative 2. So I need these two points plotted first. So I will use this plotter tool. So I need 0, comma, 1 over 5. So I'm going to click on plot. Next point that I need is 1, comma, negative 2. Plot the second point. And now what I need is I need two more points that are to the right side of this vertical asymptote. So what are numbers that are to the right side of this vertical line? I see 4 and 6. It could be 8 and 10, whichever, but I'll just pick 4 and 6, okay? So I'm going to do those. Uh, I'll plug it in right here, 4 and 6. 4 and 6. If I plug in 4, I'll get 7 times 4 minus 1 over 2 times 4 minus 5. That is 28 minus 1 over 8 minus 5. That is 27 over 3. Oh, look at that. That is 9. So let's plot a point at 4, 9. Next one, if I plug in 6 into the function, that's going to be 7 times 6 minus 1 over 2 times 6 minus 5. That is 42 minus 1 and 12 minus 5. 
So I'll get 41 over 7. That's not a nice number, but hey, we have that plotter tool. So I'm going to go ahead and plot these two points using that plotter tool. So the first point was 4, 9. That was a nice one. 4, 9. The next one was a little bit nasty. 6, 41 over 7. I plotted them both. And then this is when you click on this graph tool. Click on that graph tool. Ta-da! And I'm going to go ahead and just submit this because I want to see if I got this right. So give me one second. Let me go ahead and put away my notepad for a second. Click on submit. Assignment. And what I want to do is I want to come back into this assignment. See number three marked off. Let's take a look. Yay. See, we have check mark next to number three. That means we did it right. 